my primary message to you is that no one else can do it for you. Let me repeat that. No one else can do it for you. No doctor. No fistful of pills. No health insurance. No gym. No personal trainer. No upright desk can move all day for you. To paraphrase John F. Kennedy, ask not what others can do for you. Ask what you can do for your body and your wallet. <laughs> if your body isn't a good enough motivation, maybe your wallet is. Now let me finish with a little story. About 15 months ago, uh, the International Academy of Astronautics was celebrating its 50th anniversary. And it was celebrating with banquets all over the world. One of those was in Washington, D.C., which we attended. And uh, it was at the Reagan Building, and it was a fantastic occasion. Um, I was honored by receiving the book award for my previous book, The G Connection, which had come out earlier. As I was making my way back to my table from the glaring lights of the podium through the darkened room with all the tables, I see someone waving a hand to stop me. And I, I couldn't see very well, but it was a frail looking man in a wheelchair. And he says, what's the book all about? Yeah, yes. Um, I said, it's about keeping you young and independent as long as you live. Oh, yeah, he said. How? I said, oh, dear. I mean, I don't know why he's in a wheelchair. I said, stand up every 20 minutes. Which, after I said it, I realized it was a dumb thing to say to someone in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, okay, he said. End of story. So I make my way to my table. A young man sitting at the table says, do you know who that was? I said, well, I really could not see. He said, it's George Mueller. Now, those of you who were born when George Mueller was Mr. Apollo and later held all kinds of appointments throughout NASA uh, would know that he was a man with strong views and uh, opinions. And I thought, oh well, I'll put my foot in it again. End of story. It was a nice dinner. <laughs> Three months later, the young man at the table calls me up and says, you won't believe this, but last night we were invited for dinner at the Mueller's. And we rang the doorbell, and much to everyone's amazement, George came to the door and opened the door for us and then proceeded to offer and serve drinks. No wheelchair. No walker. He said, my father said to Mrs. Mueller, this is amazing. How could this happen? She said, I had nothing to do with it. He did it all himself. He said, yes, but what did he do? She said, he stood up every 20 minutes. What was amazing is that within three months, less than three months actually it was, his determination, he was 91 at the time, okay? His determination got him up, out of the chair, and able to move about, even if it was only in the house. I have since had another five cases, not all 91, varied from 77 to 99, in fact, uh, with an enormous degree of success. One woman, the rest were men, uh, which is interesting in itself. So, stand up. Okay. <laughs> Applaud. Wave your arms around. Wave them all around. That's non-exercise activity. 
join me in the gravity revolution and thank our space program for revealing the solution to a healthier America. Thank you. Thank you.